In East Africa, we support, and as the president has pleaded with us, we support the candidature of Raila Amolo Odinga as the candidate of East African region. And this is the turn of this region. So I don't see any, it is, will be a, a walkover. Raila Odinga will be the, pre, uh, the chairman of African Union uh, Commission. And again, we have a gap to be able to bridge. A gap between our Pan-African forefathers and the younger generation. The only person who understands both the generations is actually Raila Odinga. If today I say that I want to be the chairman, or if Dr. Shiranda had succeeded and become the chairman, he never met Nelson Mandela. He never met Kwame Nguruma. He never met uh, all our Pan-African forefathers, including Muammar Gaddafi and Mugabe. But Raila have met them. Mm -hmm. He may be conversant with the youth, but he's not conversant with the past. So Raila Odinga will bridge the gap between the past, the present, and the future. And that is why we support him. Tumenda kuona katika meneo ya ufugaji. Tumekuta kuna ngombe ana, ana ile ramani ya Afrika. Huu ni ujumbe 
Bwana Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sisi waislamu tunaamini kabla ya kiama kuna dalili zinakuja anatuonesha. Na hili anatuonesha kwamba mnakoelekea kama wa Afrika Mashariki ama wa Afrika kwa ujumla mnapaswa kuwa na umoja. Na ndio maana ya ule ujumbe ambao upo katika ile ngozi ya ule ngombe. Kwa hiyo sisi kwa pamoja tunapaswa kuungana, tukashikana kusudi yote akaendelea. Uh, coming here to attend the plenary session uh, the purpose of traveling to different African countries to do our session is so that we can get to meet the people of East Africa. And today, Honorable Sankok has really uh, gone a mile in bringing us to the people of Narok County to have an opportunity for you to know who we are, people that are listening. Uh, integration is people-led. So people also need to take initiative. Take the trouble to find out what is East Africa all about, what programs are there, what opportunities are there for people to integrate, for people to do business, understand all the protocols that we have passed. We have got common, uh, common market protocol. What it does it mean? It means you have a right to go to each of every these countries. Right of abode, right to work, right to integrate. But of course, from our side, we need to do our job to make sure that these policies are domesticated so that people of East Africa are able to interact with each other. But having said that, of course, this is like we are trying to go back in history. Because at one point, Africa was really one. And if you look, I look at the culture of people from Narok, it's no different from where I come from. I feel at home. The symbol that Honorable Tankok showed us today of the cow with the uh, image or the, uh, uh, the map of Africa, it really tells a lot. You look at all of the East African borders, you have the same people on both sides. Mm. South Sudan has got the same people in Kenya, the same people in South Sudan. Tanzania, and there you have people here. Our brother James comes from the Maasai, but the colonials, they divided. Sankok is here and he's there, but they're still one people. So the integration agenda, hopefully, is a step towards bringing back what historically uh, was already there. We have seven governors, strong, powerful, dedicated, decisive women who can bring about a change. Now, as you all know, women make up the majority of the population. So you cannot have the majority of the population not being productive and not being represented at each and every stage of the, of, of the government. To that, I say congratulations to people of Kenya, congratulations to His Excellency, uh, President Ruto, who in that, uh, his address, uh, showed us the commitment to have two-thirds of positions in every government or in every institution be women. The very spirit of in the East Africa integration, whereby the uh, people are at the center of the integration to, for them to be able to, to, to do trade together we, we, through the East African region. And we as a people representative were um, confident that the, um, the United East Africa is possible. Our leadership uh, has already uh, shown the direction and we as a representative of people, we have to, to, um, to raise the awareness among us, our population, so that they follow the, the itinerary uh, of our leadership. Appointing a woman to be the SG in the East African Legislative Assembly, which I think that is the first woman and it will go to history, and we, we will see the results very, very quickly because we know what women can do. I also want to say thank you because in his appointment of the ambassadors, yeah. he was able to appoint six women mm. to be ambassadors in various countries. Ten, 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 ten. ten including the, the consulates. And the, <laughs> thank you so much. Even the President Ruto did talk about that last uh, when he addressed it is, his address to us said that in East Africa, we have lands, we have natural resources, we have human resources. All these men together, it is, we can find opportunity to make this EAC very powerful. We can see what we can do together, what we saw so that there is peace. That is very important for development. How can you develop if you are fighting? So. We said that instead of fighting, instead of listening to, to those who, who, who want wars yes. in Africa, in ESC, let's think about what can be 
important for us. Yes. And this poses the question that we as legislators need to take back home, that we need to create an environment to attract investment in our countries. And this investment must be domestic investors. We need to empower people to begin to look at the resources that we have and translate them into opportunities to enhance the livelihoods of our people. The Honorable Sankok has already shown the way by investing here, by employing our people, by giving them opportunities. There are so many people who are benefiting mm. from this investment. And this is what we should be taking back home to our country. I know that in this region altogether, about 20 million cows are slaughtered and those that die and all, you know. Mm. So that is going to be work that we create so that this region can have something that we produce. We cannot keep importing from China. Yes. And when you go look at how many cows China has, this region has more than what yes. China has. Yes. And so I have seen what they do, and I believe that all of us must support that bill and argue council to do modalities so that we move faster yes. to do listening and hearing from people, the Maasai people, all across the Kajongs, you may call them the other side, but they are Maasai, you know? so that the community gets involved in understanding that we are doing something for the research. Mr. Rais Ruto, anapenda kina mama, jana jumuya yetu ya Afrika Mashariki, tumeteuliwa katibu mkuu, ambaye ni mwanamama, kwa mara ya kwanza, tangu historia hizi nchi zikutane. Kwa mwishu mwa Rais Ruto jana, mwishu kwa mba na wapenda kina mama, na na wapenda haswa, na maanisha kwa vitendo, kwa maneno, na situ na mshukuru sana.